Hi, this is Pastor Zach, and you're watching From the Desk from First Evangelical Free Church. I'm standing here at the Mesa Overlook, looking out over Garden of the Gods Park. Now, if you're not uh, actually physically attending our church services, you may not realize that our church is right next door to this beautiful park. It's full of paths, it's full of, of ways of looking out and, and seeing God's creation and the rock formations and just spending some wonderful time out in nature. It's one of the highlights of living here in Colorado Springs. One of the reasons I'm standing here is because I need to be reminded that God is all-powerful and God is sovereign. Psalm 19 says, The heavens declare the glories of God, and the expanse proclaims the work of His hands. Romans 1 tells us that all of creation reflects God's character. We can know God as we look around and see creation. We need to be reminded of that in times like these. We believe that God is all-powerful. We believe that God is all-knowing. We believe that God is in control. We believe that He will do what He wills to do. And that can give us great comfort. In fact, that's one of the reasons why Matthew 6 is such a comfort to me throughout the years. Knowing that everyone worries about the same things that everyone worries about. And God says, trust in me and I will provide for you. Let tomorrow worry enough for itself because tomorrow has enough worries of its own. And I can tell you right now, we certainly do feel that tomorrow has enough worries for its own because today has plenty of worries as well. I wanted to read for you Psalm 20, verse 7. It says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. See, chariots were a form of military power. They were the most advanced military technology of the day. Mounted horsemen also huge sign of strength and military power. See, the world wants us to look toward these outwardly physical examples of might and power, whether that's military, social, or political. But we trust in the most supreme force of all. We trust in the name of the Lord our God. A pastor friend of mine once preached out of this passage, and he had the congregation repeat after him. He would say, some trust in politics, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Some trust in election results, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Some trust in economic security, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And you can fill in the blanks there for whatever area is causing you worry, because we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Now, this doesn't mean that we don't behave uh, wisely. That doesn't mean you don't wear your seatbelt when you're driving or, or follow other safety laws or make responsible choices using the wisdom that God has given you. However, it does mean that we don't have to worry because God is in control. We can trust that He has tomorrow and today in His hands. My encouragement today to you, brothers and sisters, is that as you are looking at the things that are causing you concern, that are causing you worry, take a moment, pray to God, say, Lord, I'm worrying about these, but I trust in you. Just this last week, we sang one of my favorite worship songs, Not For A Moment. And it talks about how well, throughout all of the things that are causing us grief and pain and tears, we know that not for a moment has God ever forsaken us. I hope that's an encouragement to you as we go through the week. This is Pastor Zach, and you're watching From the Desk. I'll see you next week.